Hi and welcome. Today we're going to discuss about water purification. There's many uh, forms of filtration systems out there. Cheap ones, expensive ones, practical ones. Not so practical. There's ones that are based on chemical, ones that are natural. But in my opinion, like uh, from my experience from military, plus uh, what's, what's on the market, but on the market for example you've got the purification tablets. Put in one litre of water about half hour later, it's safe to drink, but it's a chemical base. Then you've got the uh, filtration pump. You know, they come with filters, it's great. You've got spare filters. And the pump itself, once I get it out. And there you have it. This hand goes into the water. The spout goes into your canteen. And then we do is pump away, simple as that. But it's all chemical based. Again, you know, you gotta remember, these are these filters are not cheap. You understand? They're always and they have a life expectancy. You know, it's gonna cost you money in the long run, in the practical sense, in the survival sense. If it happens, where on earth are you gonna get new filters? You know for a fact you're gonna to have to somehow conjure up your own filter system. So in the in the long run, in the survival sense, they're not gonna last you long. Therefore, in my opinion, they're not practical at all. So, what's your options? Well, in World War II, they used a mill bank bag. That's what they used, that's all. Simple bag, fine cotton uh, uh, canvas bag, pardon me. It's as simple as that. I use this, this is my preferred system, a mill bank bag. It does the job, it's easy to use. And when it gets old, you just replace it. It lasts a long, long time. Compared to the filtration systems on the market, they'll run out, they'll have problems in the end. And it's chemical base. This natural, no toxicants. What more do you really want? So let me show you how to use this, prefer to this. You decide. Well, I find a nice little brook. So the first thing you'll do with your, your meal bank bag is you've got to soak it up first, get it nice and wet. Once it's nice and wet, then now you can see this water's not clear. It's a bit murky, a little bit murky. But the rule of thumb is, if the water is clear, then all you have to do is, is boil it. Like if it's not a little bit like this one, it's a little bit murky because it's coming from a little bit of a little, a little pool. Then all you do is. Your meal bank bag, filter it up, fill it up as much as you can. Try and fill it up as much as you can with the to the top. Ideally, what you're supposed to do. You get up to the marker, once the water goes below that marker, then you know the filtration that you can you can start. So always remember to have your canteen ready. And there you have it. The filter's doing its job. Simple as that. Just let it do it. In a short period of time that canteen will be full. Take it to your fire and boil it up to rumbling roll and it's safe to drink. It's as simple as that. What more could you ask for? With a mill bank bag, will cost about 10, 15 pounds. No chemicals, simple to use. And just remember, once you finish with it, wash it thoroughly and put it out to dry. Very important, otherwise if you don't let it out fully out to dry, it'll get moldy. Hi there, welcome. Right, just another last part regarding your filtration system. Now, obviously I'm, I'm filtering the water into this metal canteen. And once it's boiled and cooled down, I transfer it to my other canteen. So that is ready to be used whenever I need it. Then I refill this one up, filter, like filter it again, boil it and let it cool down. Now I've got two canteens. Always have one spare to transfer from one to the other. Okay, 
So anyway, until next time, you take care and thank you for watching.